All right, I'm back, and I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. I know I did, as I was visiting a friend, and we saw the 24 hours of Nürburgring, which is the topic of today's video, as it concluded on Sunday. And what a race it was. So first off, I just want to thank the ADAC for making the race available for free for most of the world, so that anyone gets to enjoy this magnificent race, and also so that we can avoid regular TV channels and their shitty streaming services, as well as providing a very good quality show for the entire 24 plus hours. The race was of course available for free here on YouTube. And now let's discuss some of the highlights of the race, and for me one of the most beautiful things to see is the warm-up lap, when the crowd stands on the curbs waving at the drivers, you just don't see it elsewhere. I also love to see the Opel Manta back on track, as that was not present last year, the Manta of course being one of the fan favorite cars along with the Dacia Logan, which was also present. The Dacia was sadly involved in an incident at night time, in no way the Dacia's fault, but it was rammed and there was massive damage, so that car had to be retired, and that is suspected to be the end of the Dacia Logan program, which is terrible news as I would like to see more cars in that class having a bigger field with cars like the Manta and Logan would be so cool. Hopefully they will come back with another car that is just as silly as the Dacia Logan though I would really love to see the team back as the Dacia Logan and Opel Manta are absolute highlights of the race. But let's move on and no one crashed in T1 which was quite impressive as it looked very chaotic but the Fricadelli Ferrari did well and gained some positions early on. We quickly got a lot of fighting and especially between the green and yellow AMG was an interesting fight early on. Which led to a strange moment in the pits as they both went in at the same time. But one of the cars stopped on its way out of the pit lane and was overtaking. Which probably was due to not having spent enough time in the pits. As we know there is a minimum time the cars have to spend in the pit lane. I was tuned into the Monte Grello Porsche and had their onboard camera on a second monitor and Kevin Estre was really pushing hard from the beginning and he had a strange moment as he crashed the car into the barriers. It turned out to be a puncture and the car lost a lot of time. The car kept running for a while though but was eventually retired due to continued problems with the car. The Lamborghinis also seemed to have problems and was never able to put up a challenge in this race. We also saw a lot of different accidents all through the race and many yellow flags and slow zones. As barriers had to be fixed, track cleared of debris and fluid spills dried up. The Fricadelli Ferrari 296 also got a puncture but it was at the end of the lap and didn't cause too much drama. So they were able to pit and lost minimal time fixing the car. I was very impressed with the modularity of the Ferrari 296 as they just changed the entire back end of the car. The Fricadelli team was fighting the row BMW M4 and those two cars changed positions each time it was time for pits. The BMWs seemed to do very well and the BMW junior team looked extremely promising early on but later in the race it was the row team that looked better and was constantly fighting the Fricadelli Ferrari. The Ferrari looked to be a bit quicker but the BMW put in a solid performance and was catching the Ferrari towards the end. It wasn't enough though as the Fricadelli team would secure the win with only 30 seconds or so ahead of the row BMW. So a massive congratulations to the Fricadelli team and their drivers Earl Bamber, David Pittard, Nick Katzberg and Felipe Laza. A massive performance and the first time since 2002 a non-German car has won the race. The team is of course German and have used to run Porsches but made the change to Ferrari this year which seemed to have been a good idea. In second the row racing BMW driven by Sheldon van der Linde, Dries van Thor, Marco Wittmann and Maxime Martin. In third the team Bilstein, Mercedes AMG driven by Rafael Marciello, Philippe Ellis, Eduardo Martara and Luca Stoltz. Congratulations to all. It was a record breaking 24 hour race as the previous lap record was 159 laps. This year stretched that record to 
162. But yeah, it was a massively enjoyable race. And once again, I really appreciate the ADAC making the race accessible for everyone. And it's just such a great event. I really enjoyed it. And I can't recommend this event enough. But now, I wait for Le Mans. So that's it. Let me know what your favorite parts of the race was. If you liked this video, please click the like button. If you didn't, then feel free to dislike it. And if you want to see more of my content, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.